Winter is such a visual season here in western New York, and many may attribute that to the snow. Others may instantly think of the ice formations on homes and businesses along the shoreline in Hoover Beach. This is something that can gather national attention for the area. This is something I looked into when I spoke to residents and business owners in Hoover Beach. It's, uh, it's a matter of just being prepared and secure, but uh, you never know what Mother Nature will throw at you. Western New Yorkers are no stranger to the wrath of winter weather, especially residents in Hoover Beach, who often face a brutal beating from wind and waves during the thick of a storm. We've had a couple of really good storms that have created some ice that has come up over the, our break walls when there's big winds that'll actually freeze up some of the fronts of the houses. And some of the houses along Hoover Beach's shoreline have their own break walls or hurricane shutters. If you have a restaurant in the water, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. Hoke's restaurant knows how to prepare for the worst during the winter months. You know, you look at the forecast, you see that it's gonna be, you know, 75 mile an hour winds, you gotta adjust. So we got uh, storm boards and uh, they're about two inch thick and we just cover the, the, the doors and the windows and, and uh, screw them all in and just hope for the best. No matter how protected your, your restaurant is, trying to prepare for the storm, when you have 75 mile hour winds and 25 foot waves, the water's gonna find its way in. With that comes a lot of structural damage, shingles being ripped from roofs or flooding in some of the residents' basements. These storms also leave behind striking ice formations on properties that gain a lot of attention. People want to come down and see the ice castle, you know, with all the ice on the restaurant. You know, it's like 12 inches thick all the way through. It's actually pretty beautiful. One year it was so crazy, I had some furniture out on an op my open porch and uh, there was ice all over it and people were actually parading down the street, coming in and taking pictures. And Throughout parts of Hoover Beach, there are break walls to protect properties from the waves. There have been talks over the past years about additional break walls or marinas to protect homes and businesses. A break wall out in the water was suggested as the best option to prevent bigger waves from hitting the shoreline. The other big factors that go into how big of an impact the residents see are lake ice coverage and the water level. We actually like to see a lot of ice on the lake because that means it's going to prevent us from having any real major storms during the rest of the winter. The water levels are still higher than normal right now by a couple of feet. And uh, when we had the really bad storms a few years ago, they were up as high as four feet higher than normal. 